Iowa News. I'm Cheyenne Forbes. And I'm Chris Walega. We'll get back to your regular programming in a moment, but first we have some breaking news to report. The Italian luxury car brand Ferrari is expected to unveil its fastest production car ever. The Ferrari 812 Superfast is capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 3 seconds. The vehicle is powered by a V12 engine with 790 horsepower, making it able to reach a top speed of 211 miles per hour. It will be fully equipped with a four-wheel steering system and promised to have a full rich exhaust sound. Ferrari will also be offering a new paint option in celebration of their 70th anniversary. The company has not yet released a price on the car. However, the A12 Superfast is said to replace the F12 Berlinetta, priced at $320,000. Ferrari will have an official unveiling of the A12 Superfast at the Geneva Car Show in early March of this year. Police in Malaysia have arrested a woman in connection to the assassination of the half-brother of North Korea's dictator. The woman was detained at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, the same location where she and another woman carried out their attack on Kim Jong-nam a day before. Kim was boarding a plane to Macau to visit family when the two women poisoned him and fled. He died en route to the hospital. Kim Jong-nam was the eldest son of late leader Kim Jong-il. He was raised to take his father's power, but in 2001, he was arrested in Japan on a fake passport trying to go to Disneyland Tokyo. The incident caused his father to lose favor in him. He was rumored to be exiled out of the country, and in 2011, his younger half-brother Kim Jong-un took control after his father's death. North Korea has not yet commented on the incident. An official autopsy is yet to be re officially released. We'll have more for you as the story develops. And now we cut to a live reporter in Los Angeles covering the torrential downpours. It's just crazy. I didn't think the rain and the wind could do that. Chris Davidson was about to get in his car in his apartment's parking structure when he heard a crack, a boom, then the power went out. When he came outside, he saw this along Sepulveda Boulevard. A 55-year-old man was killed Friday afternoon after this large tree fell, taking out power lines and landing on cars. The LAPD says the unidentified man was walking nearby and somehow came in contact with either the electrified lines or charged water. An L.A. Fire Department spokesman said he did not know where the man was in relation to the power lines or cars, but said the man suffered electrical shock. Firefighters arrived and cut the lines, secured the area, and took the man to the hospital in serious condition. But he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Some neighbors told us off camera that they aren't surprised that the tree toppled over. I was just talking to a gentleman here before. He said his wife said yesterday that that tree is going to go down. It looked like it was going to go down from the get-go. It's pretty old it ripped up some of the sidewalk um, but my reaction I was just shocked we will now get back to your scheduled programming thank you for watching us and have a great day South Jersey